What's up guys, I'm uh, Jason from uh, Jason's Woodshop. I'm here to uh, show a little project I'm working on. As you can see, here we have, um, it's an eight foot live edge um, slab of pine. I paid $140 for it. I got it out in Long Island at a hardened sawmill. So my goal here is to turn it into a bar. I'm probably gonna cut it into two separate four foot pieces because this will be a bit excessive and I don't really have the house to hold it, although I wish I did. But, um, okay, so here we start. I'm gonna really right now try to get this live edge off, but keep the shape. So uh, my thought is to A, try with these sponges over here because I don't want something too firm and too square so I don't lose it. Um, I also have this attachment here, made by Cobalt. It should be a little more mild, and I'll try that if the first part doesn't work, but we'll go from there. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, now as you can see, I've cut it into two four foot pieces. One is over there, and then we got this one right here. I've been sanding it down, and I wasn't gonna try to go bare, but it's got this real, real nice red color. So I think I'm gonna accent these two big knots here. My only question now is, which side down. I like the downward slope of it, but this side I think has some really nice coloration and it really pop once I put the oil on it. So I think that's how I'm doing this one, all right? Check it later. All right guys, here I am. I just added the Danish, what's it called? Um, Danish oil, it's finishing oil. It brought out, definitely brought out the knots and made the buck nice and shiny. The only thing is it's showing these Circular marks, it must have been from the saw, and I've sanded and sanded and sanded this. I think I need a different type of sander or to put it right into a planer, but either way, I'm gonna keep it like this for my first one. Worst case, if it comes out bad, I'll just flip it and do the other side. All right, to be continued. Okay, guys, I just mixed the two part solution, um, also known as the liquid glass finish, it's basically any epoxy setup. I just got this one right here. It's called glaze coat, but it's all the same stuff. Um, so I'm mixing it up here, Burger King cup. Um, I'm move for about two, three minutes. So it says about five, but it's not really necessary. Um, I'm gonna put it on the top, and you'll see it has a really, really nice finish. So let me try to see if I can get that. All right guys, so here we are. Look around here, the edges came out gorgeous. Um, in retrospect, like I said, I would like to have planed it down to avoid all those lines, but I kind of like it. It looks fresh, real, you know, really brings out the, the wood. And also I would like to have gotten the upper cut, but I had to take the better grains I felt. And as a bar, it's gonna be high enough that you could see the, the rims of it. And that's the important part, so. It's going to be nice. See you soon.